talk to you guys today, although I'm very sorry that we have to talk about this topic of disease and microbes and how this is spreading. When you start to think about how these things multiply, I'd like us to take a moment and I'm going to run you guys through an exercise that's going to require you to close your eyes. <laughs> so, can I see a show of hands? How many of you have a sibling? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of you have either a sibling or a pet? <laughs> How many of you have either a sibling or a pet or a favorite stuffed animal? Okay, so I want you to now, everybody calm down and think of your favorite, or maybe not your favorite, but your sibling, your pet, or your stuffed animal. I want you to close your eyes and imagine them in front of you, your, fibling, your sibling, your pet, your stuffed animal. Now imagine that they double. Now imagine that those, was that disturbing? Imagine that those two double, and now you have four. Now imagine that those four double, and now you have eight. Those eight are going to double, and now you have 16. 16 are going to double, and now you have 32. 32 are going to double, now you have 64 siblings. 64 are going to double to 128, 128 to 256, 256 to 512, 512 to 1,024. Now you've got 1,024 siblings. So look around the room today. Open your eyes and look around the room, and you're going to see about 800 people around you. So that's how things double, and they can multiply and get to populations that are uncontrollable. We have a question. All right, so now that you've had a chance to close your eyes and think about what doubling can be and how fast that can happen and the way populations can, can, can grow, I want you to stop for a minute and think about how they can spread. So who here has ever worked with glitter? Do we really have that many people that have never touched glitter in their lives? Seriously, have you ever worked with glitter? <laughs> so I have here in my hand a glass jar of glitter. Okay? It's not a whole lot. If you've ever worked with it, you know you don't need a whole lot because this stuff gets around. So when you're talking about something like a microorganism or a virus or an organism, these things can spread. They go from surface to surface. They get stuck. They get traded. Is there a volunteer that would like to come up? <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Daryl. Daryl. D. D has thankfully agreed to join me. And I would like to know, does anybody want to guess what will happen if I take this glitter and I shake Dee's hand? Do I have a volunteer that would like to say what will happen to Dee? Yeah. yeah, we think he's going to get glitter on his hand. Okay. And now, and now what if I touch my hair? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to get pat on the back? Yeah. Yeah. So suddenly things are spreading. And so now if somebody else comes up and shakes Dee's hand, what do you think is going to happen? Spread more. It's going to spread more. Can we have one more volunteer? You were fast. Oh, yeah. So 
Kaylee's going to shake Dee's hand. Thank you, Kaylee and Dee. And uh, let's check our hand. Yeah, uh, look, nice, nice glitter. Nice. See, she's, qu she's actually got quite a bit, even though she shook his hand and I shook his hand, right? So it's sec second, secondary transmission there. Um, so you, you can see that these, these germs can spread a lot. Why don't you guys go back to your tables and start shaking hands with everyone, and we'll see how far the glitter can go. We'll see if you all can end up with some glitter today, okay? So these things multiply, they spread, okay? And just imagine if we had animals up here, and I had this glitter on the floor, and the animals were walking through it, your pets were coming home to your house, they're bringing it into your door, this stuff spreads. Okay, now's the time we're going to use the biohazard bag. Every person at your table gets one Ziploc bag out of this bag. Not the unmarked bag, the biohazard bag. Inside that bag are four germs. Those are your germs. What we're going to do is we're going to give you 15 seconds to trade one germ with one other person. We're going to do this four times. When you're done, you will have four new germs that you've gotten from someone else, and other people will have your germs. When I blow my whistle, you will start. When I blow the whistle again, you'll stop. Wherever you are, stop. Are you ready? Go further out, Ethan. Next thing you're going to do, the last brown bag on your table. Now let me warn you, this is a testing solution and it stinks. So reach in the bag, I heard that, take out your testing solution. You're going to take one test swab from the bag and drop it into your bag. After you drop that purple test swab into your bag, squish it around. Make sure the juices get squished together. How many people have green in their bag? Stand up if you have green in your bag. Anyone who has green in their bag is infected. So I'm guessing, where do you think that the infection started? All these people over here. And it spread a little bit over here, but it spread really fast. And the only way it spread was by sharing a germ. And that's how quickly disease can spread from one person to another. And that's how people get a disease in a country from one person can enter the country with a disease. 